right, thanks, Alyssa. Well, let's face it, it's easy to get sick this time of year, but you can give your immune system a hand simply by trying not to touch your face. Gunderson Infection Control Specialist Megan Meller is here with us this morning to talk a little bit about the science behind what sounds like a simple solution, Megan. Yeah, thanks for having me today. Yeah, we're glad so, to have you because, again, it's, it sounds like really a common sense thing, but this may be hard for a lot of folks to do. Yeah, so I think studies have shown that people touch their face on average like 20 to 30 times an hour, which is a lot. And it's that those eyes, you know, the nose, the mouth, which are basically portals of entry to, into your body for viruses. And so simple things like hand hygiene after you touch like dirty shopping carts, like when you're grocery shopping, is a really good way to prevent getting sick versus just what we think of as, you know, breathing in air after someone sneezed. I want to go back to something you said there, 20 to 30 times an hour? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> uh, I mean, this, this just kind of shows that unconscious nature of it. And I guess, what do you recommend for people to try to be more conscious of it? I think mindfulness. Like, even I'm guilty of, you know, going to, rub, you know, rub my eye or, you know, just, you know, touch my chin or something. And it's those simple actions that could easily get you sick. And so what we recommend is just, you know, doing hand hygiene after you touch, like, soiled surfaces. Because if you touch your face with clean hands, you know, then you're not going to, you know, you're, you're going to reduce your chances of getting sick. But it's really at yeah, those kind of you know, moments when you're just not realizing it that you could really be exposing yourself to viruses or, like, colds, flus, anything. So no uh, contemplative <laughs> looks as I'm uh, thinking of the next question here. Uh, yeah, you mentioned it there. It, it is, a, you know, all these receptors, uh, our mucous membranes are all concentrated in this one area. So it does make sense. Uh, but uh, just to be conscious of that. And I guess, you know, how, how did these things all factor into keeping us healthier this time of year, especially when, you know, we're cooped up inside? Well, you know, I mean, like I said, it really comes down to, we always talk hand hygiene, but really, you know, the ultimate goal is just not getting sick. And so that's where, you know, colds, like any viruses, like to latch onto those mucous membranes. And so really that is our eyes, our nose, our mouth. And so while our body has a lot of really great, we call them, you know, fortification, so to speak, you know, really good ways to prevent things from getting in, you, you know, your hands are another really great way for things to get exposed. And so that's why we just always say hand hygiene first, but it's because if you touch your face 30, 20 to 30 times an hour, yeah. that's a lot of potential for exposure throughout the day. And then we should probably mention here again, flu shots. You know, the season, it seems like for a lot of folks, they think flu, flu shot season is in the fall, but it's still ongoing. Absolutely. And this flu season is seeming to be a very long one. It started early and it could, we don't know how long it's going to last. Flu shots take about two weeks to take effect. And so we say it's never too late. There's plenty of vaccine in supply throughout the, throughout the area. And so again, it's never too late to go get your flu shot and to get that protection before you might get exposed after touching your face. <laughs> All right, Megan, thanks for taking some time to talk with us about this uh, unusual sounding topic, but maybe help us be a little more mindful about uh, touching our face to try to prevent, uh, not touching our face to try to prevent those illnesses. Uh, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. All right, it's now 10 minutes before seven o'clock. We're gonna take a look at your morning sparks. Uh, today's challenge is to tell, a child, tell your child a story in which he or she is the main character. And this helps build brains by helping kids learn to think a little more creatively. We'll be right back to recap the day's top stories after this.